Here's your Scott. Push it, push it, push it. Nice, nice. Nice, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Owen, the first video of the channel. Today, we're going to be introducing the backyard. Today, we're going to be looking at all these jumps and how to build them, the techniques, and the strategies to put this together and to keep them working. We have three examples and they all have their own pros and cons. But anyway, these guys are gonna be jumping on them just to show you how they work and how much air they get on the actual jumps. So here's Reagan first on this jump. Not bad, but he, he popped too much. Good landing. Nice. So, so let's start with the first jump. This is about a foot and five inches tall, but the actual length of it is pretty long. So you're not gonna get a huge jump out of it. It's not bad, but I personally don't like it. It is not my favorite jump. So this ramp, it's about a foot tall and it's a bit long. So you're gonna have a bit of extra space to get ready for the jump and the pop. One of the great things is little kids can go on it. You don't need Pop or anything, like I'm just gonna go yeah and if you if forget to pop there's no consequence you're just gonna roll down it it's not that tall to get any injury from it honestly um it's very sturdy we have extra supports here so it's not going anywhere and this thing has been in the family and the i guess the rent family for about a month nothing's happened to it it's staying in the same spot for a month it is doing fine it's perfect for the kids who want to come and practice with us and if they get good enough at jumping we'll take them to the trail so this is one of my favorites because it's nice and short and steep so you're gonna get hella air when you hit this and it's it's, it's a thin piece of wood but it's sturdy some brick reinforcements and dirt under it but a con is when it rains the dirt does slide out and we have to get a shovel in step it back in and for too lazy to tarp it but all in all great ramp and some incredible air comes off this ramp yeah so we're going to show you guys that now yeah and also when he's getting ready this originally was a dirt ramp problem with dirt ramps yeah. is that they disintegrate and they get lower and they're harder to maintain and you have to put tarps on them so what the rain doesn't get onto them and overall if you have no money a dirt ramp's fine you can and you can pat it down enough so that it won't move but if you really don't have any money or don't want to spend any money yet dirt ramp's an awesome option option there's reagan nice but you need a, a let out nice the thing ever on my part but hey, yeah. it happens yeah so with this channel we're gonna teach you about how to level out your bike how to bunny hop and how to build ramps we're gonna review bikes we're gonna review trails we're gonna do all bike stuff it's gonna be sick yeah. and we're gonna have a fishing playlist that will come out probably once a month so charlie's my main mountain bike guy he's taught me everything i know and yeah he showed me around a lot and I'm gonna learn how to do more stuff. He's gonna take me on more advanced trails from his knowledge. But I also wanna share with you guys my passion, which is fishing. So we're gonna show you, you guys that too. And uh, watch all the future. You got, fun stuff um, too. A bit of tech, 